Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in with me today. I hope everyone is well. All right, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So if you have that placement anywhere in your chart, then there can possibly be a message for you, for you here. All right, keep in mind, you guys, that this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. So, already... Believe in yourself, all right? Believe in yourself and follow your dreams, all right? So if you don't believe in yourself, Leo, who's going to believe in you? You can't expect for nobody to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself, love bug, all right? Celebration at the bottom of the deck. Your spirit, your spirit needs to play and have fun. So a lot of you guys, I know I'm a Leo too, like y'all already know if y'all um are subscribed to my channel y'all already know from previous um times that i am a leo all right son so i know that leos have been going through a lot or whatever the case may be so i know here we go there's leo in the background every time i talk he gotta talk yes i don't know what it is but sorry y'all but i can't make my bird be quiet but um yeah, so I know a lot of us have been in hermit and kind of just like doing our shadow work, doing our healing work and trying to work on our purpose and find ourselves and close out cycles and do whatever it is that we need to do so that we can get on the path that we're supposed to be on. Um, everybody is on different timelines. So, but yeah, so Spirit is saying a lot of us, we're, I'm going to say us because baby i've been in the house for over a year <laughs> just working and just healing and doing you know just trying to get back to myself or whatever the case may be and that's another reason why i have not been on here so um you got to believe in yourself baby all right you have to believe in yourself like whatever goals that you have um, you can achieve those goals, whatever desires that you have, you know, you can conquer those desires, but spirit really wants you to believe in yourself. All right. They believe in you. You need to believe in you as well. All right, Leo. So let's go. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. I believe in you guys. All right. The answers you need are coming. So the answers you need are coming. They can be coming through this message or maybe somebody else. You may watch another reader. You may be getting the answers that you need from somebody else. It doesn't have to be me. But whatever it is that you've been trying to figure out the answer, Sue Spirit is saying they are on the way. All right. So what other messages do we have for my Leo's spirit? Other messages for Leo, please. Step out of your comfort zone. That's another part of believing in yourself. All right. So step into your north node. The south node, we we comfortable with the south node. You know what I'm saying? Everybody comfortable with living in their south node. But the north node is the path that we are headed toward. So it's not going to be comfortable. There's going to be some things that you're going to do that you may be, you know, like, I don't know if I can do this. But the point of it is for you to do it. You know, we're already comfortable in the things that we have been doing and spirit wants you to get a little bit uncomfortable. All right. Step out of that comfort zone because you're supposed to be on a whole nother path. You're supposed to be headed down another path and things may be uncomfortable at first because you're not used to doing things maybe a certain way or just used to doing things. All right. Um, with being a fixed sign, like... Some people, some, a, a lot of fixed signs don't like change, okay? Um, not all fixed signs, but majority of fixed signs don't like change. So we're usually comfortable, you know what I'm saying, like how things are. And Spirit is wanting you to step up out of there, all right? And have faith in yourself and believe in yourself, all right? One more message here. One more message for Leo, please. Confidence is the key to success. Yeah, so you got to be confident within yourself, like... You know, Leo, energy, you know what I'm saying? Confident. We're already naturally confident. Um, 
And that's where a lot of people mistake it for being arrogant. We're not arrogant. We're already just confident within our own skin. Like we're just, that's just who we are. So be confident in yourself. Be confident in your path. Be confident in your journey. Be confident in whatever it is that you are dreaming of as far as that success and that reality that you see for yourself holding your vision be comfortable be, have a lot of confidence in yourself all right believe in yourself period all right huh. believe in the impossible anything is possible anything is possible all right leo so let's say messages for leo please spirit messages for leo false person somebody wearing a mask somebody trying to act somebody portraying to be somebody that they are not all right the number eight can be very significant here so somebody here is false they're wearing a mask we're gonna find out we got unexpected income so we got eight we got nine all right, won't be surprised if 10 comes out next. All right, spirit messages for Leo. So you could be getting ready to get some money that you were not expecting, or some of you guys may be getting ready to have to pay for something that is unexpected. So you may be getting ready to have to dish out some money, or some of you guys are getting ready to receive some unexpected um, income. All right, pathway. We got a number eight again. So some of you guys, well, we already know that eight is, this is the year. This is the eighth year, the year of the dragon. Um, eight, you know, represents infinity, which is Leo, which represents the eighth month. So you guys may be coming out of a path that has been very dark and maybe you guys are going towards you know a path that is more bright that is more you know um it has a lot of you guys have been going through a, a huge transformation there with the butterflies all right so a lot of you guys are going through a spiritual transformation right now or already have been through some type of spiritual transformation all right spirit tell me about this false person What's going on with this? Oh, that's too many. What's going on with this false person, please, spirit? I got to get my table set back up, y'all, because my old self, um, I can't do this flow. For, this flow for too long. All right, we got Will of Fortune. All right, things are turning around for you. Things are turning in your, in your, um, and your favor, divine timing is at play here. All right? So, let's see. Spirit, what's this false person? Good luck and fortune. Somebody may want to send you some type of emotional message. This can be a younger water sign. All right? This can be a child. This may be even be a child of yours. Maybe this person is trying to act like they don't care that y'all, you know, you may not be talking to this person right now or whatever, but deep down inside, this person really does care. So they're getting ready to reach out. They're getting ready to send you a message. They can be up at night really thinking about all of the things that happened, all of the betrayal, all of the backstabbing, everything. They could be having a lot of anxiety. This person could be having nightmares. This person could just be up in their head just thinking. All right. Um, but whomever this younger water sign is, um, not necessarily, they don't have to be younger. But whoever this is that's sending this message, this could be an apology, all right? Maybe this person is feeling like it's time to turn this situation around, time to turn things around. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Four of Cups wanted to come out, so... Maybe they feel like it's a missed opportunity or maybe this person could feel like that you don't want to accept or you don't want to hear anything it is that they have to say. Spirit, what is this divine timing with the Wheel of Fortune? What's this Wheel of Fortune? Spirit, what's this Wheel of Fortune? We got the hangman. All right. I'm just feeling stuck. Trying to look at things from a different perspective. 
Spirit, what's the hangman with the Wheel of Fortune? The Hierophant. This can speak about spiritual beliefs. All right. This can speak about lessons being learned. All right. Maybe somebody had to learn some lessons and now they're looking at something from a different perspective and they want to turn things around. And they're hoping that things will go in their favor when they reach out to you with this apology. Yeah, this person is ready to take a risk. Spirit, tell me about this. Um, yeah, there was a lot of betrayal. Five of Swords between you and this person. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about this Page of Cups. We got the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Somebody's been on quite a journey here. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe somebody wants to apologize for not being consistent in your life. Okay? So... Whomever this is, this person could have been very inconsistent. Um, yeah. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Wands with the Page of Cups. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you said a water sign. You could be a um, you could be a single parent. All right. Like I said, this could be one of your children. Maybe y'all always was going back and forth with this person. All right? And this was just an ongoing cycle that you had with this person. Spirit, tell me about this unexpected income, but they're getting ready to message you. Hmm. We got the High Priestess. Spirit, tell me about this unexpected income. We got the Judgment. Hmm. We got the Hermit. All these major arcanas. Spirit, tell me about this, this High Priest. Because we got the High Priestess and the Hierophant. It's a very... Um, high ranking spiritual connection here. So for those of you that this is not a child, this is somebody that you were dealing with that played around on your heartstrings. All right. This person knows that you love them. This person knows that you really deeply cared about them. And you could have shown this person, you could have did everything that you, you know, that you thought that you needed to do to show this person how much you truly and honestly care for them. But now it's like, you know, you are in this energy of not even wanting to open up and share this love. Maybe your heart is closed, you know, or could have been closed for, for a very long time because you were dealing with someone or people in, from your past that were not of your highest good. These people only played around with you. These people, you know, gaslit you. These people, you know, um, it were narcissists. It was just like a, it was not healthy. It was just not healthy. Spirit, tell me about this high priestess. So some of you guys, this definitely could be a twin flame connection. All right, but maybe there is, um, maybe you have a lot of secret knowledge about some things um, and this person knows that you have a lot of knowledge. Some of you guys can be high priestess. Some of you guys can read tarot, be very psychic. Some of you guys can be mediums. All right, so it's like you already have the secret knowledge. You already know what is going on. You know who this person is to you. All right, maybe some of you guys know that this person was dealing with you and someone else, all right? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower. So you know that this person was married or, you know, dealing with someone else. This person that they was dealing with, this person could have been all about money. 
You know what I'm saying? Like they wasn't with them because they cared about them or loved, they loved them. It was just all about money. Spirit, what is this high priestess? What is this high priestess, please? Message for Leo. Hmm. We got the two of cups and the seven of wands. Yeah, this is this your twin or this this your soulmate. A higher level soulmate. That's what this this that's what this is. All right. You could have blocked this person. All right. Or you could have set boundaries with this person and stood up to this person and told this person like oh, and cut this person off with the Queen of Swords. Like you could have told this person like I'm not a uh, yeah. And the, with the death card, you ended it. And, and the ten of uh, ten of swords. Yeah, it was too much betrayal here. You put an end to all of that. You put a stop to all of that. You was like, oh, no, baby, I don't think so. This is not about to go the way that you think it's getting ready to go. Like, I don't even trust you. Like, I can't even deal with you. Like, you could have been seeing all type of stuff online or whatever the case may be about who this person was sleeping with or what it is that they was doing. So you made a choice and a decision that you was going to go ahead and focus on yourself and elevate into this Empress energy. Like, you was not about to play sick here and let this person continue to play around with you. It just wasn't happening. So you, you told this person exactly what it is that they needed to hear. And you cut it off. You went on about your business. You healed. You did the work. And you elevated. Now this person wants to come back. This whole time they've been acting like they don't care. But they do. They could have been showing you one side of them. But you never got to see the other side of them. Spirit, tell me about this judgment. Tell me about the judgment. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So this can have something to do with family. Or maybe this person wants a second chance to try to build something long-term and stable with you. But you're not for sure. you at a crossroads. Somebody here is at a crossroads. They got to make some type of decision. And Leo, this could be you. What decision are you going to make? Something here, like I said, for you, some of you guys that... that um. You may have a child that may be wanting to apologize. Maybe they had to learn some harsh and, and lessons or whatever, and they're looking at things from a different way, and they want things to turn around when it comes to this situation. Maybe this is somebody, like I said, in your family, if it's a child, and they just want a second, they want another chance with you. Maybe this person could have had to go do some healing work themselves. So take it, whatever resonates for you. All right, Spirit, tell me about this, um, this hermit. Hmm. New beginnings. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person realizes that you are you're their person. It doesn't get any better than you. They re they recognize that this is a very spiritual connection. So no matter what it is that they do, how much they try to forget about you, how many people they go sleep with, how many whatever it is that they do, how many drinks or blunts it is that they smoke, this person cannot forget about you. They can't. Some of y'all don't want this person. The Queen of Swords. Some of y'all like, uh-uh. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. No, 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 baby. We not about to do that again. I don't care. Twin, no twin, whatever. No. Huh. That's dead. That's over with. Death card. That shit is dead. All right. Spirit, tell me about this pathway. Tell me about this pathway, please, Spirit. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Huh. <sighs> It's a lot of love, baby. It's a lot of love. This can be self-love, too. Divine masculine. He in love with you. Him or her. I wouldn't be surprised if this empress pop out. If this empress pop out, I'm done. Look, queen of pentacles in reverse. There go the money hungry chick. Out the door. 
if this was their wife or whoever this was, she in reverse. This person is 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 no more false flagging, baby. All right, but somebody money here ain't right. They in balance. They ain't got it going on like they used to have it going on. Period. Now this person could be struggling, balancing, trying to figure out how they about to, you know, pay this and how they about to pay that or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Mm -mm. This person could have been trying to, you know what I'm saying, to act like you and be like you or whatever to get this person. Now they saying like this person was only with them for the money. Now that the money done ran out, they like, uh, okay. They ready to make these changes. Knight of Swords with the death card. That's a death and a rebirth. Major changes is happening. Somebody got a lot on their mind. Maybe they want to tell you about the stuff that they've been going through. Spirit, tell me about this Nine of Cups. What's this Nine of Cups, Spirit? They want to offer you this new beginning. Period. This time they're going to make sure that it's stable. You got a decision to make. Are you going to take this person back? Are you going to accept this person's um, apology? Are you going to accept this new beginning? There's too many cards. This person from your past? Six of cups? Five of wands? Hmm. Are they going to continue, like, what's what's getting ready to happen? You're not for sure. They not for sure. Five of Cups. This person is missing you like crazy. They have a lot of regrets. They took their time. You know what I'm saying? They took, they, they like, I don't know, did I take too long? You know what I'm saying? Did I take too long to come back to Lego? Like, oh my goodness. Like, I feel like this person has, is with the Knight of Pentacles also speaks about long-term goals. So, this person is wanting to come in and offer huh, this King of Pentacles from your past. They want to reconcile with you. They want to come in. They want to offer you something. You know what I'm saying? This person may be in this energy where they are afraid to come towards you. But there's a choice and a decision that needs to be made here. Somebody here needs to make a decision. Because whatever this decision is, it is going to, you know, um, it's, it's going to determine your future. So... You know, just because a person comes back and they apologizes, you may just need to get your closer. That doesn't mean that you have to take this person back. But it's up to you, like, if you want to take this person back or whatever the case may be. Because even though this is your divine masculine, your divine feminine, or whatever the case may be, are, is the, are what they offer you, is it enough with the Page of Pentacles? Maybe they feel like they don't have enough to offer to you. Or maybe this person isn't going to be able to offer you everything that you want at first. But they want to offer you something. They want to take this risk. They're ready to risk it all. They are ready to risk it all, baby. Spirit, give me one more message here for Leo, please. Queen of Wands person thinks that you are beautiful and you standing in your power you're definitely standing in your power we got the king of cups yeah this person loves you they coming towards you baby with the ace of swords and the five of pentacles they want to come in from out the cold they don't want to be in the cold no more they want to come in with you leo where it's warm at all right where they know they'll be loved at so the choice is up to you. It's a decision that you have to make. What is it going to be? It's completely up to you.
All right, Leo, so this is the message that I have for you. I hope that this resonated. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you are already not subscribed to the channel. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. And if you need me for a personal reading, my email is down in the description box. And until next time, bye.